the first thing we need to do is to create the form. So we're going to, we're in the campaign, the correct campaign, we're going to go over and select forms. And we're going to create a form. Click this link right here. Now it's going to give you a crazy name for the form. Uh, I'm going to rename it as my Steve G net form. Now the thank you page, I'm going to make this down here, I'm going to make this a single opt-in. Now the thank you page, you have three really good choices here. These choices all put up a web page as a thank you page that says check your email, you've got to opt into this list again. Um, since I've made this a double opt-in page, I can't use any of those because they're not going to receive this email. Um, so I'm going to select custom URL and I'm simply going to put in the same website again for them to go right back to the website. They'll put their information in, boom, they'll be at the website. And they will get that first email that we just created. All right. So I'm going to make it single opt-in. My, my thank you page is simply the same website again. Down here I'm going to select more because I like to split the first name and the last name so I get uh, separate fields for each one. First name, last name, the email is in there by default and I'm going to click create and I have now created my form. There it is. Um, I can preview this. I can edit it and let me just point out something to you. If this form ends up on two or three or five websites and you want to change it for instance to uh, a double opt-in form you can come in here and edit that form and all of the places where it's uh, placed it will now react differently you can do your editing of your form here and it will take effect on any website that you have put the form on um, you can delete this but what we want to do is we want to put it on our WordPress blog so I'm going to go to this icon right here this link that says HTML and I'm going to click it and now we have a open window that has the HTML for this form. I'm going to highlight it all, right click on the blue part and select copy. Now I've just copied that to my clipboard so I have the information when I want it. I'm going to close down that window. We are done here and what I need to do now is get this on stevegehagen.net and the way I'm going to do this is to log into my dashboard. Now to log into my dashboard I take the address of my website and after that uh, stevegehagen.net slash wp-admin that is the website that I want to go to to log in to my WordPress blog. So I'm going to put in the username that I created and the password that I created and log in. And I am in the dashboard for that website. Now there's a lot of stuff here guys. All of these things on the left open up and there's different choices under them. Um, but what we're going to do right now is simply get that form on there and this is very simple. We're going to go to our appearance menu and we're going to select widgets. Don't ask where the word came from. <laughs> now we are in our widgets control panel and depending on your theme you could have a lot of widgets here. This is the bare bones theme. I haven't changed the theme from the default WordPress theme. So this is very bare bones. And we only have as you can see one text widget here. Most of them will have four, five, or six um, when you change the theme. But uh, for purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to grab this text widget and we're going to put it over here in the sidebar. You'll see when it's activated, boom, I can drop it there. The text widget will open up. Now I'm going to put the title. These are the words that people are going to see above your form. And I'm going to um, just put in enter your information to subscribe to my personal mailing list. All right. And then in this box down here, I'm going to left click. Then from the right click drop down menu, I'm going to select paste. And I just put in the HTML code that we got from GVO when we made the form. I'm going to select save and I'm going to 
shut down that widget. Now I'm going to go and log out here. I mean, you don't have to log out. But I want to go back and I want to just take out everything in here down to my stevegehagen.net, the address of my website. And we're going to go there. And now you see what's over here. Enter your information to subscribe to my personal mailing list. If I put in my first name, my last name, and my email, I will end up in the subscriber list that we just created for that campaign in GVO. I will receive that first letter uh, in, in uh, the, the list of um, emails. And I am now subscribed to my list at GVO. So this is it, guys. This is the process. And now you have... Uh, your own domain with your own website on it that you can customize and change all of this and put other things down here and add content over here and people can subscribe to your mailing list simply by entering their information there and you can broadcast to them so now you have a list building machine put together on the web and you've done it really in just a few minutes this is a tremendously powerful thing that you've just done and you've begun branding yourself on the web. So thank you for listening to all of these things. I hope you find them helpful. If you need any help with any of this, you can contact the person uh, who's showing you this video or you can contact me and uh, I, either one of us would be glad to help. So uh, this has been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, have a great day everybody.